Jolio. Let's play with some trains. The map. There are two maps. This is the larger of the two maps. It is best for three to four players. The extra hexes are A5, A7, E11. For this video, we will be using the original map, which does not have these three additional hexes, and is preferred for two to three players. The map depicts the Isle of Wight in the English Channel. It is divided into a number of hexes on which railway tracks may be placed. Towns are marked with a large circle. If a town is a home base for a company, it will have the company's initials located inside the circle. Here you can see the hometown for the IOW and the town of Newport. Additionally, we can see the off-board location of Ride Pier. This location will generate 20 pounds during the green phase, 40 pounds during the brown phase. We will discuss these phases a bit later in the video. You can also see hexes with small dots. These are villages, as well as mountain river hexes, which are more expensive to build in. The red line, which may not be built across. The initial auction. There are four private companies and two railroads to buy during the initial auction. You are bidding for the right to buy. The auction is conducted in five pound increments. Each of the privates will have a value. This is the cost above your bid you must pay. Each will generate revenue, each operating round, and have the ability to be sold to the bank for 30 pounds less than their value. During the stock round, a private company may be able to be traded for a share in an operating company. If you choose to start either of the companies, you will set par price and buy two shares at the price. In this example, I went to bid for £75 and decided to purchase the CNN Railroad. I set the par price at £100 per share and pay the bank £275, receiving the president's share of the company. The auction continues until all six items are owned by the players. One word of warning, you should retain enough capital to fund or float your company. 50% of the stock must be sold for the railroad to operate. At the end of the auction, the player with the lowest face value of private companies will be the priority player, the player to act first in the stock round. The stock round is where the players buy and sell shares in the various companies. A player may sell any number of shares and then buy one share. This process begins with the player with priority, and then alternates until both players have passed. The companies come available in four layers. Layer 1 consists of the Cows in Newport and the Isle of Wight. These are the only shares available during the first stock round. The next layer becomes available when a company from the previous layer operates or is sold out of shares. When 50% of a company is sold to players, that company floats. It receives 10 times the par value in cash from a bank, a token is placed on the stock market, and the company will begin to operate in the operating rounds, and is called an operating company. Selling. Shares are sold at the current market price if the company has a train. If it does not have a train, then the shares are sold at half value, rounded down. If a player sells one or more shares in a company, he or she may not purchase that company's stock for the remainder of this stock round. Let's talk about the stock market. These two markers are placed here after 50% of the stock has been sold to players and the company floats. IOW has a stock value of £82 per share and CNN £100. Movement on the stock market appears both during the stock round and operating rounds. As stocks are sold, the price drops in a zigzag fashion, one spot per share sold. During the operating round, a company can pay its stockholders revenue or withhold revenue. Withholding will cause the stock price to drop horizontally, one space left. Paying out the revenue will cause the stock price to move up horizontally, depending on the payout. If the payout is less than the share price, it does not move. If the company pays out two times, three times, or four times the share price, it will be move two, three, or four spaces to the right. Stocks in the green area are resistant to change and will ignore the first stock sold in the stock round. Moving into the 340 pound value will end the game at the end of the operating round. If a stock price drops to the purple area, the company is bankrupt and stops operating. We will discuss bankruptcy 
insolvency and receive receivership later in the video. Okay, back to the stock round. As soon as 50% of the company has been bought by players, the company receives income from the bank equal to 10 times the par price. This is called floating the company. When the company floats, a token is placed on its hometown. If a company's start hex does not have any track on it and no track tiles have been placed there, the director places the appropriate track tile on the start hex. The buying and selling of stocks continues until both players pass. A note, the reserve share of a company cannot be purchased by players. This share is reserved for the owner of the appropriate private company. Another thing to note, that is in 1860, unlike other 18xx games, the stock price does not change for having all the shares owned by players or shares in the market. After both players pass consecutively, the stock round ends and the game proceeds to the operating round. The operating round. During the operating round, companies can, in order, lay or upgrade track, purchase an additional station, run its trains, retain or pay out dividends, buy one or more trains, and may be declared insolvent at the end of its turn. We will look at each of these actions in detail. Laying Tracks This is the Tau Manifest. It shows all the possible tiles that are available in the game. Track is built using yellow, green, and russet hex tiles. Yellow tiles are available from the onset and must be played on an empty hex. Any placed tile must be appropriate for the hex it's played on. On an empty hex, the tile must be 7, 8, or 9, plain track, no stations. Single village, black dot. A tile must have one halt or small station on it. Tiles 741, 742, and 743. A hex with two villages. The tile played must have two halts or two small stations or one of each. During the yellow phase, this will either be 744 or 745. Tiles placed in town hexes must have one large station, which includes tiles 5, 6, 57 and 115. Some towns have a letter on their hex. These include R, C, N, V, B, and M. These towns may only use the towels with the appropriate letter, and the letter towels are exclusive to those cities. Track must connect with existing track, which may be accessed from the company's base using an arbitrarily long train. When tracing qualifying track, you can't trace through a tokened out city. In this case, the BH, I, and R cannot trace through bratting to build track. None of the track on the towel may run into impassable hex side or off board. There are three special rules for towel placements. Newport upgrade towel must be placed so the southern lower value station is connected to the south side of the hex. The green Merstone towel must be placed so that the halt connects to the north side of the hex, connecting directly to Newport. The Ride Esplanade upgrade towel must be used to connect with the offboard. On its turn, a company may lay a single towel with a large station. Two yellow towels without a large station or upgrade one towel from yellow to green or green to russet. Upgrading track. When the first 3 plus 2 train is purchased, phase 3 begins and green tracks become available to build. The russet towels become available during phase 5 after the first 5 plus 3 train is purchased. In most respects, upgrading tau follows the same rules as laying track with a few additional requirements. An upgraded tau must contain all the existing track of the tau it replaces and previous connections are preserved. In order to upgrade a tau, the company must be able to trace a route with one of the train it currently owns 
from any of its bases on the board to a Tau in question, without passing through a tokened out station. Tau has to contain additional track the company can use or increase the revenue of a halt or station. Company bases are preserved when upgrading large stations with tokens. Just as a note, 18xx.games will give you a selection of legal upgrades. Bases Each company has a number of tokens available for bases. The first token is placed immediately after the company floats. Each additional base will cost the company money. £40 for the first and £100 for each one after the first. This is shown on the company card charter. Only one base may be built by a company per operating round. Bases may only be placed in empty station circles, which can be reached from any of the company's existing bases following track. It may not trace track past a tokened out station. Bases may not be placed in another company's home base hex unless the tile currently has a spare space available in addition to the space normally occupied by the other company. In this example, after building the city tile on ride, IOW places a token. Running trains. Runs must begin and end at a station, large or small. Every run must include a large station, which has one of the company's base tokens on it. At least one run for a company must include the company's home base token. All runs must intersect this home station run at a halt, small station, or large station. This first example, CNN runs a route from its home base to the small station south of it, shown by the red track. The second train runs from that small station to Newport. The revenue for this run would be 20 plus 10 for the first train and 10 plus 30 for the second train. The second train may also include one halt, which would pay £10 to the company. If he pays it out, the dividend would be £7 per share and £10 to the company's treasury. This would not be enough to increase the stock value. Alternatively, he could withhold the revenue, putting £80 into the treasury, paying the stockholder nothing and losing stock value. Later in the game, CNN owns a 4 plus 2 train. He is able to run from his home station, following the track to Newport, Bradding, and Ride. This run contains four large stations, and may include up to two of the halts or small stations. So this run would be worth 30 plus 50 plus 30 plus 30 for 140 pounds, and now he can include one small station south of his home base for an additional 10 pounds. Additionally, the company will receive 10 pounds for servicing one halt. Note, one train is allowed to pass through a token out city during the, this portion of the turn. If he would have owned a 5 plus train, he could have extended the run past one tokened out city to ride Esplanade, paying dividends. If the company produces revenue from running trains, the director decides whether to pay out to the shareholders or withhold to the company. If the company retains revenue, it receives company credit equal to the company's revenue for the turn. If no dividend is paid, the stock price drops horizontally one spot left. If a dividend is paid, which is at least the current share price, then the price rises one horizontal spot right. In this case, a dividend of £9 per share will increase the stock price from £82 to £90 per share. If a dividend is paid which is at least twice the current share price, then the stock will double jump two horizontal spaces right. So a dividend of £17 per share will raise the stock price from £82 to £100. If the dividend is at least three times the current share price, then the stock will triple jump to the right from £82 to £110 per share. If the dividend is four times the stock price, it will quad jump from 82 to 122 pounds per share. This is the maximum for a single dividend payment. Buying trains. The last thing a company can do during its operation is to buy a train or trains using the company credit on its charter. Trains may be purchased from a bank at the listed price or from another company on a mutually agreed price. The agreed price must be at least 10 pounds and in 10 pound increments. 
Note, you cannot buy a company's last train unless the purchasing company does not already have a train. This is different than other 18xx games. Train purchases drive the game from phase to phase, as discussed earlier in the upgrading track segment. When the first 3 plus 2 train is bought, green tiles become available for upgrades. When the first 5 plus 3 train is purchased, russet tiles become available. There are other effects that are activated by the purchase of trains. The purchase of the first 4 plus 2 train makes all the 2 plus 1 trains obsolete. They are immediately discarded. This rusting happens to the 3 plus 2 trains when the first 6 plus 3 train is bought. Purchasing the 7 plus 4 train rusts the 4 plus 2s and the 8 plus 4 rusts the 5.3s. The Fishbourne Ferry Company is available for purchase on the stock round following the purchase of the first 6 plus 3 train. It may be purchased for £200 and provides a revenue of £25 per OR Additionally, when it is purchased, all other private companies still in the game are removed. Phase 8 starts upon the purchase of the 8 plus 4 train. The stock limit is removed and selling stock no longer lowers the stock prices. On the stock round after the first 9 plus 5 train is purchased, the Southern Railway takes over running the island's railroads. Formation of the Southern Railway the game changes at the beginning of the stock round following the first 9 plus 5 train purchase. Companies continue to operate, but may only run their trains, pay dividends or retain revenue, and buy or sell trains. No track may be laid or upgraded. No more company bases may be placed on a board, and halts are no longer counted. Trains are important to the pace of the game. If a company ends its turn and cannot afford to buy a train, it is said to be insolvent. That is our next topic. Insolvency. Here we are in OR 8.3 of 3. An 8 plus 4 train was purchased earlier in the operating round, rusting the 5 plus 3 train owned by Newport, Gazio, and St. Lawrence Railroad. It has no trains and cannot buy one from another company, nor can it afford the 800 pounds for a 9 plus 5 train from the bank. It will end its turn without a train and will be declared insolvent. During the next operating round, the NGSTL can lease a 9 plus 5 train and runs this route for 220 pounds. It cannot build or upgrade track. It must retain the revenue and therefore its stock price will drop. After running its route, the 220 pounds is added to the treasury of 510 pounds. Still not enough to purchase the 9 plus 5 train. It remains insolvent. It repeats the process during the next operating round, finally having enough capital to buy a new shiny train and will become solvent. Remember that stocks sold while a company is trainless are only sold at half value, rounded down. Bankruptcy. If a company's share price falls to zero on a stock market chart, the company is bankrupt. This can happen through the sale of stock in the stock round or from a drop experience due to not paying out dividend. When a company becomes bankrupt, all the shares in the company are returned to the IPO without compensation and are available for sale at the start of the next stock round. The company's bases remain on the board, turned upside down. They still restrict other companies' track development, but no longer impede other companies' train routes. The bankrupt company's assets, including cash, trains, and unused tokens, remain with the company for the next president. The priority deal card is given to the player with the fewest shares, not certificates, not including private companies. If the bankruptcy happens in the stock round, it ends the stock round immediately. Play continues with a new stock round. If bankruptcy occurs during the operating round, the set of operating rounds are completed as normal. When 50% of the company is bought, then it floats in the normal method, except it receives all of the assets on the card plus the 10 times par value capital. Receivership In 1860, unlike most 18xx games, a player may sell all of their stock to the bank. 
This may result in an operating company without a director. This is receivership. The company lays no track and may not build new bases. The company runs its train for the maximum revenue it can, but must retain that revenue. If a company does not have a train at the start of its turn, it becomes insolvent immediately and can lease the next available train in the bank this turn. Players may not buy the president's share from the bank. It is given to the player who buys a second share. Ending the game. The railway company's marker reaches top value of the stock market. In this case, the game ends at the end of the current operating round. The bank runs out of money. After this, the game finishes at the end of the current operating round. If the bank runs out of money during a stock round, it ends at the end of the next operating round. Nationalization After the formation of the Southern Railway, a check is made at the end of each round to determine if nationalization occurs. If all player-owned companies have at least one train, then the British Rails is formed which triggers the end of the game as follows. Trains run only to large stations. Halts and small stations no longer count. Companies may no longer retain revenue. Companies may only buy trains from a bank. The bank is considered infinite and no more stock rounds occur. At the end of each operating round, the two companies which pay the lowest dividend cease to operate. More than one company paid the same dividend as a company closed, all companies that paid that dividend ceased to operate. Companies in receivership will be the first closed. When only one or two companies are left, they operate for last time and the game ends. The game can still end at the completion of an operating round in which a company's stock prices reach 340 pounds. I would like to thank 18xx.games making all these games available to play online for free. Mike Hutton for a wonderfully designed game, and of course, all the board games for publishing this once hard to get title. I hear the conductor. That means it's time to go. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and a comment. Until next time, have fun training.